In this video, let us learn to draw an ER diagram for the topic Sports Management System. So the first step is we need to identify the entities. So the first entity can be team. So when it comes to sports, definitely a team of players is required. So therefore, team is an entity. Team is obviously a group of players. So group of players are physically existing. Therefore, team is an entity. Because the definition of entity is, it is an object with physical or conceptual existence. So team is physically existing, therefore it is an entity. An entity must be written inside a rectangular box. So I should draw a rectangular box. So team is an entity. Next entity can be players. Player is again a person. Players means many people. So, player is an entity. Player is physically existing. Therefore, it is an entity. So, I should write players inside a rectangular box. Next, game. Definitely, if there is a team and if it consists of players and without having some game, there is no use for having a team and players. So, game is an important entity. Game is not physically existing, but it is conceptually existing. The team will be playing some game. So, it is conceptually existing. Therefore, it is an entity. So, it must be written inside a rectangular box. Next, injury records. Injury records is an entity because it is physically existing. Records, you will be maintaining it in a notebook, in a record book. So, record book is physically existing. You are able to touch it. So, therefore, it is an entity. So, it must be written inside a rectangular box. So, totally there are four entities. Team, players, game and injury records. So, in that record notebook, you will be writing the records based on the injury of the players. So, these are the four entities. The second step is we need to write its corresponding attributes. So, for each entity, we have to write attributes separately. So, first entity is team. Attribute must be written inside oval shape. So, for team, what are all the attributes? Team will be having a number which is team number. So, this must be underlined because it is a primary key. Team number is a primary key. Now, for example, if the team number of one particular team is 8, the same team number 8, no other team will be having. Every team will be having a unique number. If the team number of my team is 8, maybe for the other team it will be 9 or something else, it won't be 8. It will be unique for every individual team. So that is the reason why team number is a primary key and we are supposed to underline the primary key while drawing an ER diagram. The next attribute is city. Now if there is a team, the whole team is coming from the city Chennai. The whole team is coming from Coimbatore. So, the team belongs to this city. So, that is one important attribute. Next attribute can be captain. In a team, definitely a captain will be there. If a team consists of 10 members, out of those 10, one player will be a captain for sure. So, captain is an important attribute. Next, name of the team. So, if you have formed a team, definitely you will be giving some name to the team. In IPL, we have Chennai Super Kings, Punjab Kings, like that many teams are there. So, every team will be having a name which is known as team name. Next, coach will be an attribute. So, every team will be having a coach. If a team is formed, a coach will be training that team for a particular game. So, coach is an important attribute. 
Next, number of players. Now, for a game, if you want 11 players, for example, if you take cricket, 11 players are needed. So, number of players will be 11. Only if 11 players are there, the team will be formed and you will be able to play that game. If less number of uh, players are there, definitely you cannot get trained for the game and play as a team. So, number of players depends on the game that you are going to play. Basketball means you will be having different number of players. For cricket, different number of players like that. For each game, you will be having different number of players, which is very important. Only if you have that proper number of players, you will be able to play a you will be able to play certain game. If there are less number of players, then you cannot play that game. You can have more and you can put those extra players as substitute. But the actual amount of players you should surely have. Only then you will be able to participate in that particular event and take part in that game. So these are all the attributes of the entity team. The next entity is players. So let us look into the attributes of this entity player. Player will be having an ID which must be underlined. So every player will be given an ID which is unique. Now for example if there are 10 players. All 10 will be having different IDs. If one player's ID is 2. No other player will be having the ID 2. All others will be having some other ID which is different from 2. Next attribute is blood group. Blood group of the player is very important because when some accident occurs it is very important to know the blood group of that particular player so that immediate actions could be taken in emergency situations. So that is an important attribute. Next attribute is position. If you take a certain game, in that different positions will be there while playing. So you have, if you take one particular player, which position, which role is given to that player in the game? That is important to know. So that is an important attribute. Next, name of the player is very important. And the name of the player can be further divided as first name, middle name and last name. So if you are able to divide some attribute further, then you can call that attribute as composite attribute. So this name attribute is a composite attribute. Composite attribute is nothing but if you are able to divide an attribute further, then that attribute is known as a composite attribute. So here name is a composite attribute because you are able to divide it further as first name, middle name and last name. The next attribute is date of birth of a player. From this date of birth, you can derive the age of the player. If you know the date of birth of a player, you can say that the age of the player is this. It is very easy to say. If you know the date of birth. So from the date of birth, you are deriving the age. So if you are deriving something from one value, that is from date of birth, you are deriving age. Then you have to write it inside dotted oval. So age must be written inside dotted oval. So this is known as derived attribute. Because you are able to derive the age from the date of birth. Next attribute can be phone number of the player. It must be written inside double ovals. Because it is not necessary that a player should have only one phone number. The player can have more than one phone number. The player can give two phone numbers and say, if this is not available, this number is not available, you can contact me using the other number. So a player can have multiple numbers 
So that is the reason why phone number is known as multi-value attribute. So if more than one phone number a player is having, then you can call it as multi-value attribute. Therefore, phone number is a multi-value attribute. Next attribute can be skill level. It is very important to know the skill level of a player. Now, if you're selecting a player for a team, if the player is having a particular skill which is needed in that game, only then they will select this player in the team. Otherwise, they won't. So, skill level is very important attribute. So, these are all the attributes of player entity. Next entity is injury records. So, when it comes to injury records, it is very important to have some attributes. So ID is one attribute which is a primary key. Every record will be having a unique ID. That is the reason why I have underlined this ID. Every injury record will be having a unique ID. If there are 10 players and all 10 players are injured, the records of all 10 players will be having an ID. All 10 will be having unique ID because we cannot put same ID for two or more players. Now, if uh, I want to look into the record of the ID 1, 1, some person Ram. So, the injury record of Ram will be shown. I cannot put 1 and get some other name like some other player's name and look into the injury records of that player. It is not possible. So, every record's ID will be unique. That is the reason it is a primary key. Next attribute can be description. Description about the injury. How the player has got injured. What was the reason? So, all that will be described clearly. So, this is an attribute. So, this, these two are the attributes of the entity injury records. Next is game entity. So, let us look into the attributes of game. Name of the game. There are various games. So, name of the game is an important attribute. Whether it is basketball or coco or whatever. Next, result of the game. Whenever you play some game, definitely the results will be said at the end. Whether you have won in the game or you have lost in the game or how many points you have obtained and by looking into the points, whoever is the highest will be the winner and second highest will be the second winner like that. And the team with the least points will be the loser. So result is important attribute. Next, venue. So, a place where the sports game is happening. That is very important to know. You cannot just like that play a game in, at any place. So, a place will be there where you have to play the game. So, venue is an important attribute. Next is club. Club is an important attribute. So, a particular club only will be conducting all the games. So, therefore, you can call it as club or association. So, that association will be conducting a sports game activity on a particular day. It can be state level games or school level games, any kind of game. So, club is an important attribute. Next, date. At which date the game is going to happen? That is important. And then, Time is an important attribute. Now, for example, on 10th October, if the game is happening, at what time it is happening? If I just give the date, it is not enough. At what time? I cannot wait the whole day to see when the game is going to happen on 10th. I should know the timings. So, it is an important attribute. In the afternoon, 1 o'clock means I know the time so that I can get ready and go on time in order to participate in the game. So, time is an important attribute. So, these are all the attributes of the entity game. So, now we have to check whether every, at, whether every 
entity is having a primary key or not if you take team attribute there is a primary key which is team number so therefore team entity is a strong entity set if an entity is having a primary key then it is known as strong entity set so team is a strong entity set next if you take players player is also having a player id therefore it is a primary key so player is also a strong entity set next if you take injury records injury record is having id which is a primary key therefore injury record is a strong entity set next if you take game game is not having any primary key game entity is not having any primary key as an attribute therefore game is a weak entity set weak entity set must be written inside double rectangular box we have drawn only one rectangular box we have to draw another rectangular box outside it so game is a weak entity set it must be uh, written inside double rectangular box so after writing all this the next step is we need to connect how to connect by drawing lines and through relationship relationship is nothing but a diamond box so i have to draw a line then diamond box then a line next a line diamond box then a line it is used for connecting two entities next you have to draw a line then a diamond box then a line a line diamond box then a line after drawing line and diamond box this diamond box is known as relationship we have to write something inside the relationship that connects two entities so team has players inside this diamond box i should write has team has players next inside this diamond box i have to write team participates in a game team has players then team participates in a game next inside this diamond box i have to write plays players play the game next here there is a relationship box inside this i have to write logs player logs injury records logs is nothing but records that is being maintained regularly on early basis or monthly basis so team has players team participates in a game then players they play the game then player logs the injury record so logs is nothing but it is electronic record or it can also be a written record where you will be having the daily activities of the unusual incidents that is happening to the players it is very important to maintain a log of the injury records of the players so this is the flow team has players team participates in a game player plays a game player logs the injury record so this is the flow in which we have to draw the er diagram for the topic sports management system if you like this video please like subscribe and share it with your friends thank you